Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here. We're going to be taking a look at some Matchbox trucks. Uh, the two you see in front there are some recent scores from a toy show that have already opened, and two in the back that I still need to open. So, let's get right into it. These things are massive, so it's going to be a little bit tricky to get it on camera. Um, we have this one here, which... Uh, how am I going to do this? I'll put these back here. Let's do that. Okay. So we got these two here. I scored these at a recent uh, toy show. Um, I thought I got a pretty good price. I'd like to say I did. I don't know if I want to say how much I paid, but um, it wasn't really that cheap. I know these are hard to come by. I don't know if they were US only or not. Um, I only just started getting into the Matchbox trucks and stuff, so yeah, they're quite tricky to find. But anyways, there's this one here. Um, I don't even know. Is it Kenworth? Peterbilt? I don't, I don't know. Mack truck? Not. don't know much about these trucks. Kenworth? Kenworth. Yes. Let's see if you adjust the lighting a little better. Yeah, it's a little better. So I got this here. These are just cool. I'm trying to collect as many as I can, but they're not cheap. They also don't come up too often. So much detail on these. And this is, uh, this part is metal. This part is plastic. I think, uh, no, that's plastic. So th this thing still got a lot of weight to it because this whole cab is, it is metal. Um, this whole thing is plastic. It uh, goes up and down here, this swivels, and we got some, um, this part that goes down here, kind of sits there, back part opens up. Some of these that I've been doing research on, on uh, eBay and on Google and all that, I mean, there's some really sweet releases out there that hopefully someday I can score. Um, this one here is quite interesting. It is, again, I'm not familiar with a lot of these, should be, actually it doesn't even say it, funny enough, Kenworth something? I don't even know. Again, metal cab, everything else is plastic, but... Other than that, still got some really good detail. Take a look at the trailer. So this comes off. I won't take it off, but this part comes off of that. And these are like little rubber bands. And then you can actually take these off. And these actually open up. So you can actually store stuff in there, which is kind of neat. Pop that back on. It was just, I think, it, yep, it sits on top there. I was happy to find those at the local show because they don't, again, they don't pop up very often. But, so there's those. Let's take a look at these convoys. So there's this one here we're going to take a look at first. Uh, I thought about saving the card art on some of these ones, but I'm like, hmm, no, go to the burn pile. Let's see if I can get the camera to stay. It doesn't want to stay today. Come on. Good? Good. So let me just rip these on open. I know this one's not um, the most desirable of the few. It's not the hottest item, but uh, for how much I paid, I think mm, I think I paid five dollars for this Canadian, so not very much at all. So I definitely couldn't pass it up. Dragon Slayer. The scale of these is uh, a lot, I think. Yeah, quite a bit smaller than the other ones. I, th I don't know. It was 2008. This is um, I don't know how to describe it. It's 
I guess a more premium line than these ones. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with it. Don't roast me in the comments or nothing about it. Does this come off? It should, yeah. It's on there pretty tight. So I think this is just a generic cab, is it? Yeah, Matchbox cab over. Still pretty neat. Cool. And you got this tanker. I think it's all plastic. Is it? Yeah, all plastic. This shouldn't come off. Nope. Still got some pretty good detail. And get this back on easy. Oh my god, there we go. And then you get this truck. I think it's just some generic truck. Badlander. Kind of neat though. Like I said, I paid five bucks for it, so I said, why not? Probably won't get any cheaper than that. And the other one is the Skyjacker. I was quite excited for this one because the, what is it? Lone Star Cab. I've driven a Lone Star cab at an auction here, not on the road, but it did drove a Lone Star cab once, and honestly, I loved it. It was pretty sweet. I thought, hey, that's kind of cool. I drove one of those before. Skyjacker suspension. Does this back open? No. Nope. Kind of wish it did, but not a big deal. So, same thing, all plastic. And then you have the cab here. Nice chrome grill. Again, the scale is not 100%, but I mean, it's still pretty good. These things are, is that just, does not going anymore? Oh, it just kind of sits there. That, that's pretty cool and then the truck which i believe is the exact same release i don't know when this came out but i believe this is just the exact same thing no changes from a different release still pretty cool i don't think i ever got this one so works out for me nice to see a chrome a base on this it actually it helps a lot okay that is pretty much it. Um, let me actually display them a little bit nicer. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. Hopefully I can get some more of these and make some more videos of them. But, uh. I don't have endless money here and with how many brands I collect, which is getting kind of insane. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can collect some more. Just hard to find them because I, I believe, I don't believe these ever came to Canada like so many other things. So it's quite expensive to get them shipped over. So you just kind of have to hope and pray that some local hobby shop gets it and they sell it for cheap maybe. But anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out my Facebook page and my Instagram. Again, thank you guys for watching.